Hey friend, welcome. I'm about to make dinner. Actually, my oldest daughter is about to make dinner because I have a little one who doesn't want me to put him down. And we're about to make chili. It's like the easiest thing I make, but it is so delicious and pretty healthy. So we'll get to it. here thanks for coming I'm Jen I'm married to Alex and I have four kiddos they are three five eleven and that one's fourteen and I like to chat about contentment and what that means in a world that's full of comparison and if you've seen other of my cooking videos I'm not the greatest cook and so I really have taken the last few years and just tried to develop a few recipes that I kind of up the flavor, make simple, budget friendly and delicious. And so this is one of those meals. It's my super simple chili. It's about a half an hour before we're supposed to eat and it'll be ready just in time. I started making it at lunch and stuff broke down with this one. So I didn't quite get it. I was gonna put it in the crock pot, which you can certainly do. Just put it on low or even just keep warm because nothing in it needs cooked. Before we get into it, would you do me a favor? Would you like this video and subscribe to my channel? I am just new here and trying to build up my channel and I would really appreciate it. And even share it with someone who you think might appreciate it. And um, the jumping hand in front of me. All right, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much. All right, so I just browned some meat that's actually ground turkey and I, I kind of overcooked it a little bit, but it'll be fine. So that's about a pound. I might do a pound and a half sometimes, just depends. And then I just have petite crushed or diced tomatoes in a can. We're gonna do three cans of those in a pot. And then, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna do two, well, my daughter's going to do two cans of black beans. Now, you could rinse these if you want. I don't. I don't I'm not sure. You're probably supposed to. But I'm just going to dump them in there. If I dump them in there. I've never had any problem with it. And then to up the veggies, we're going to add a frozen bag of diced frozen sweet potatoes. I just get these at Walmart. Now this is a meal that I always keep everything on hand. So I can make it any time. Um, yeah, we're gonna put some salt in there, maybe like five or six. You could put pepper in it if you wanted as well. Okay, so we're gonna add a tablespoon of onion powder and a tablespoon of garlic powder. And then we're gonna add a really good heaping tablespoon of, gar or of chili powder. Now you could use just like a packet of chili seasoning and that would be fine, but if you've ever read the ingredients to those things, it's just not great. <laughs> so I just like to use the regular chili powder and that is fine. So. That's good honey, do it over the pie if you need to. Now I have one more secret ingredient, which I think just puts this chili over the top, and it is cinnamon. Let me grab the cinnamon out. And we're just gonna put like a little sprinkle in right over the top there. Yeah, that's good. And it just really makes the chili kinda, makes you kinda go, hmm, what is that? And it is just delicious. So we're gonna give that a little stir. I'm gonna put, the stove on low and just basically heat it up the we want those sweet potatoes to get nice and tender and you know squishy really so that is the biggest thing that we'll need cooked but it will just take about 20 minutes on my stove and there's the end result it is super simple delicious budget friendly healthy all right, so let's talk a little bit about toppings. Um, chili toppings can be as diverse as the area that you live in. I grew up with one side of the family eating buttered crackers, 
with their chili and another side eating peanut butter bread with their, so like a piece of bread with peanut butter smeared on it. So. Ha, I finished my room when you were videoing. Right now, personally, I like green onions. If you've seen any of my other videos, I know you're gonna be real surprised to hear that. I like green onions, avocado is really yummy and makes it just super creamy. Of course, like cheese and sour cream is always good. My husband's eating his with tortilla chips. Oh, I meant to mention, one thing I do often just throw in the pot is a bag of frozen diced onions and peppers, bell peppers. And that, again, just kind of ups the veggie content and is just simple and something I often keep on hand. So if I do add the onion pepper mix, I will <laughs> keep, <laughs> I will not add the ground onion into it. So, well, that's it. I'm going to enjoy my chili on this gorgeous fall chili? day. <laughs> yes. Yummy. I know, chili, right? So... Let me know, are you a chili fan? Do you have a favorite soup? Tell me in the comments. And please sure, please be sure to give me a like, thumbs up, and subscribe. I make videos on motherhood, marriage, and homemaking like this. You can check this one out right there. Please remember, as you are enjoying some chili on this beautiful fall day, that you are okay just the way you are. And I'll see you soon.